think this is live. Um, I will see. Um, bonjour. Thank you, Joshua, for coming in. Um, sorry about that today. Hopefully, everyone's here. Yeah, I was. Um, I think you guys can hear me clearly. Yeah, I was bringing my friend to uh, do Uber Eats with me because uh, he wanted to know what's it like. So I thought, you know what? Come on, run. come on with me, and I'll show you what's it like, and you can help out. Be my navigation. Navi navigation so that way I don't always have to look at my phone and yeah uh, he helped me out today uh, we earned some good money and now I'm back home and ready to talk with all of you guys thank you for coming in and I'm so sorry for being so late today I actually wanted to get one of my Twilight Wings video episodes out in the morning but uh, there was this copyright thing, so I always have to continually re-upload and yeah, do a lot of things. So I have to re-upload and just gotta bypass it. It's so annoying. So I gotta do it later. I always get so pissed off at the copyright thing. It's just like for this twenty for these twenty seconds, here's copyright, and this whole video is blocked. So nope, you cannot upload it. And I gotta try again and again. So yeah, expect another video out in the later afternoon. I'm so sorry again once, you know, for being so late. I, I know you guys are waiting for me and I try not to let that happen as much. Back to the chat. Joshua, I messed shit up. What the hell happened, Joshua? Uh, let me know what happened. David, thank you for coming in. Um, what have you been up to lately? And Brandon is going come back soon anyways welcome to Animal Crossing it's been a while let's say hi to everyone and Anik uh, I still make reviews about Pokemon 2019 and Yu-Gi-Oh 7s that's right yep that's something I'll continuously do and it's something that I really really enjoy doing Now, let's talk with Isabel. If you don't know Isabel, she's also in our Discord. And she gives you daily news updates. So that's very cute. Now, I wonder if Isabel could be in here. Um, I wish... Right now on Alola, it's 4 p.m. July 3rd, 2020. Mail is the important part of the day. That's right. Um, having mail, reading all my mails. Thank you. That's something I gotta do every time. For some time now, Nook Inc. has been quietly exploring and studying the water surrounding our island. Alright. I'm pleased to announce that based on their findings, the ocean's been safe to swim. All right, let's go swimming. But do I have to learn how to swim first? And before that, hey, Brandon, welcome. Sorry, I'm late today. I promise um, I'm, I'm going to try to be on more on time and manage my time better. So I don't want you guys to wait. But anyways, <coughs> um, we're going to learn how to swim. And my question of the day to you guys is, do you guys know how to swim? Uh, is there a swimming class where you guys live and um, what level are you guys in? Let me know in the comments below. Personally for me, uh, there's something called swim kids level in uh, Canada. So we take this swimming class lessons and I got to level 5 which is like pretty low level. <clears throat> I think the highest is like level 12. And after level 12, you can apply to be a lifeguard and all that. So there's additional training. But I'm pretty damn bad at swimming. I think I'm gonna drown. <laughs> yeah. 
Joshua, I love swimming. Nice, Joshua. Um, when did you know, learn how to swim and all that? Uh, Brandon, I live on an island, so of course, yes. Of course, you know how to swim. It's like, when you're born, you know how to swim, right? Brandon, like, you know how people are like, uh, I run before I walk? No, I walk before I run? Well, you swim before you uh, walk, okay? <laughs> David, I know how to swim, kind of, but I've never done any lessons, so I'm not sure what level I would be on. All right, yeah. Because the common common uh, swimming technique is your mm, front crawl and then your back crawl, and then that's really about it. Um, when I watch the Olympics, it's really intense, and I really love watching the swimming portion. Wow. Uh, we have a lot of mail. A lot of mail. Wow. Let's go check out, starting from our Happy Home Academy, Antonio. I'm stuck on a workout plateau, so I've decided to try something different, writing letters. It's the ultimate type of muscle confusion program. My hands have never been so buff, and it's all thanks to you. Hey, that's very cute. That's how you work out your hands? All right, let's take a look at some. Oh my god, too much things in my pockets already. Oh my goodness, too much clothes. Um, these are gonna go into my storage. I actually don't remember where these uh, clothes came from. Maybe just gift it to me. Like, how's it all of a sudden all in my inventory? What the? Chef's outfit? <laughs> okay. I like that kimono better. So many things, honestly. I'm gonna put a butterfly in the storage too. Is it gonna die? I got a surfboard, Anka's poster, tankless toilet. Is that even possible? But first, let's put Anka's poster up here. Our god is right here. Tankless toilet, huh? Oh, I see. Not bad. But I don't have a washroom yet. Keep the maple leaf because my storage is full when I get it. Definitely, yeah, I'm keeping a maple leaf. It represents Canada. Can I use this maple leaf? Like in some recipe or something? Canadian pride. Right, next year's Olympics is still in Tokyo and it's still called the 2020 Olympics. And what do you guys think about that? Like. Um, that they're still doing the Olympics. Um, I personally really support the idea. Oh my god. Due to the recent events of COVID-19, the thing you ordered one month ago, one month ago some, Dodo Airlines messed up the order, so you don't get your clay set ready. Read the next letter. Okay, I need to read the next letters. We heard you like anime, so we're going to refund you with a Reese and Cyrus anime photo you may want to check out. Thank you for shopping with Joshua's shop. Oh, this is from Joshua's shop. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, now let's take a look at the presents. Wedding welcome board. Let's check that out. Oh, here we go. We have... Cyrus and... I don't remember the name. Cyrus and who? Another present. Handmade crown. I got another one right here. 
Oh my gosh, look at all my villagers just running around. Look like you're thinking. What's up, Ed? What? I was thinking about moving away from my Lola. Mm. What should we do? You guys let me know. Do I let him go or keep him here? What do you guys think I should do? Let's. I wish you the best. Thank you, Ed. Thank you for staying here. This is something to be sad about, like when your favorite TV show gets cancelled. Right. Alright, I wish you the best. Um, But I want to give you something before you leave, actually. Um, Summer Shell seems good. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Hmm. What if I give you money? No, that doesn't sound right. Um, I need a surfboard. That's just a. Uh, <laughs> what should I give him? Yes, let him go. <laughs> throw him overboard. Oh yeah, I throw you something. Um. Yeah, I need to give you something. But, uh... Fine, 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 fine. As, as a last gift. Um... Mm -hmm. I like all these. I honestly like all these. I can give you music, because I don't really listen to waltz. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, I can always... Moss ball. Okay. Thank you for the moss ball. Um... Hey, uh, I see my villagers talking right here. They're talking... They seem pretty cool. Hey, how about we try this too? Uh, where do we see ourselves in a few years? Write your answer in the chat below. Where do you see see you guys? Duh, like that's some kind of big mystery. I'm going toots big time. The kind of pop star who's everywhere you look. Oh, she wants to be a superstar right there, huh? Will you still talk to me even when you're world famous pop star piggy? Oh, you better. Never forget where you come from. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> what if you try just getting famous on an island here? That way you might have more time for friends. Look at Peggy's reaction. Oh no. Oh uh oh. What's going on? Oh, look at that face expression. That doesn't look good. Oh, that's some girl attitude right there from Peggy. Man, these two are like... These two are like... Just like... Interesting. Did you know Ed is going to spend tomorrow packing child? I'm sad, I know. I wonder if he remembered before then that he borrowed my copy of Tune Up Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> that must be a really top seller book. And Peggy? What's the latest? Alright, gotta read my mails. Way too much mails to read. Wow, look at all these mails. Celia? Okay, so this might sound strange, but whenever I see numbers lining up, I get excited. Like, if I happen to look at my clock, just as the time goes to 11-11, I feel like that might be something important somehow. Really? That's... that's okay. That's a... a, a phobia? Or a fetish for... 
time. Alright, before that, I need to go wash him, so I'll be right back. Alright, and I gotta invite Annabelle over. So Joshua, let me know how I can invite Annabelle over to my island now, since Ed is moving out. Unfortunately. I am back. All oh, of four parts of the boxing ring. Awesome. Two. Three. I found a pineapple shirt with the color you want. All right. Thank you, thank you. All right, hopefully you can get your uh, Annabelle to move. That'd be nice. You can make your own bird coffee now. Da 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 da. If you see a robbery in an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? Brandon, does that make you an eyewitness? <laughs> oh, I see what you're trying to do now, huh? I like this. This is probably the joke of the day. Anyone can beat that, go for it. Write it in the comments below. Yeah, if you see a robbery in an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? Oh my goodness. So good. Here's a nice leaf wetsuit. Got it. New Island too. Nice leaf umbrella for your swimsuit. She is waiting. Oh, we're talking about Annabelle, huh? We're talking about Annabelle? And here it is, all the stuff. Bamboo grass, leaf print wetsuit. Let's wear the wetsuit. Oh, but where's my pants? I really got no pants. Umbrella. Let's let's get an umbrella too. Oh, cool. Annabelle's poster. Okay, motor sign. 
snorkel mask. Ooh. Time to go snorkeling, everybody. Mom's plushie. And another blue corner. Alright, um. We got another meal. Unread. Oh, with presents. Oh, what are these things? Oh, these are all the posters that I ordered. But there's no more Ed. I need to put them on later. Just way too many things to do. Handmade cape. Ooh. Okay, these are looking pretty good. Um. First off, let's put our ring. Our ring, our ring, our ring. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, wait a minute. I should put it on the beach. It's gonna be a huge fight coming up. Another surfboard. I think having three surfboards here is actually a good idea. There we go. And is there another surfboard I can put? Wedding welcome board. Blue corner, blue corner. Where's the other blue corner? Is this the other one? Oh, wait. I forgot. You can just adjust it, right? Um. Hmm? Oh, wait. Wrong way. Alright. Then I have to take out this basketball and this... What? There is not enough? No! Not enough. Oh, there's one more here. But where's the last one? Hmm, no more. Okay, I'm just missing one. That's alright, Joshua. That's fine. <laughs> it's gonna look like this for now. And I'm just gonna put up the basketball up here. And it is actually raining pretty hard in Vancouver right now. But other than that, Let's go talk with everyone else, like Panchetti. And let's go learn how to swim. Hello, I love Steven Universe. Welcome to uh, Animal Crossing July event. Uh, I'm glad you could join in and learn a few things from us. If this is your first time, I'm Emmy Hilson here, and uh, I do a lot of uh, anime reviews, as well as self-help and well-being, you know, vlogs and all. So, if you're interested in that, you can click on my channel and check out the other content. Or if you're just here for Animal Crossing, then why not? Come check it out. Alright, so how can I learn how to swim? Um, who do I talk with to learn how to swim? I invite you. Okay. We can swim together. Oh, 
Steven Universe. Hey, welcoming all visitors and let's swim together. Can somebody teach me how to go swimming, please? Alright, we got Joshua, a creative gamer, coming from Slow Ayo. Slow Ayo. I love Steven Universe. Have you tried out the new update for Animal Crossing yet? Do you know how to swim? Here we go, Joshua. I see you. Yes, I have. Just put on the jumpsuit on and jump in the water. Alright. I think I am wearing it. And I got my snorkeling cap too. Let's go. Let's go swim. How to swim. Whoa! Okay. I thought you would need some uh, swimming lessons, you know, from um, a villager or something. And that's what I'm swimming real slow. All right, so we're swimming together. <gasps> How did you do that? Oh. oh. I wonder if we can find some sharpedos in here. Now, yeah, what can we find in here? I guess today is raining, right? What is this thing? Oh, 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 oh! What is that? I found a sea star. <laughs> Maybe I'll give me an autograph. Are you serious? Now let's see what else we can find. Oh, I see a fish right there. Can I catch a fish? Let me see. Nope, I don't think so. Now, what are some of the things that you found in the ocean? Because all I found is one sea star. But what else could you find? Is there some mysterious fish? Some big monster? Oh, I see a big fish. What if I catch it? I'm gonna try to catch it. Going underwater. Nope. Aww, it ran away. 
I mean, it swam away. Oh, stacked magazines. Okay. Alright, so what else is there? If I can swim. Like, any, any swimming events and all that? Let me know. Because I love this. I love how you can... <gasps> That's huge fish. That looks like... A shark. It really does look like a shark. Come to me, baby. No! Why? Alright, I'm gonna go fishing again. No, no, sorry, not fishing. I wanna go diving again. So please, if you can show me some of the best places to go diving and swimming. Ooh, that's a big... Oh, oh no. Hmm? I lost them. Ooh, can I dive here? <gasps> I could! Alright. Now, nah, I've always wanted to find red. Or oh, is it called red? Yes. Tuna dock. We're gonna go tuna, tuna dock? But is there anything else? I'm just curious. Like, I know you could swim, but I'm pretty sure there's other things you could do, right? Ooh, what is this thing underwater? Ooh. No? Never mind. Oh, this is the fishing net. Or like, this is the boundary? Oh, Red is on the island. That's cool. Yeah, I could buy some fake paintings from him too. Okay, I see something bubbly. Does that mean there's, um... Oh, what is that? Let's try to catch it. It's a... This is a... Sea... Animal. Animony? Animony. The enemy of my enemy is my uh, friend of me. Oh my god. Stop it with these. A new guy, Gulliver. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, who can I talk with? That's uh, new as well, right? I haven't been. Ooh. I found a moon jellyfish. Now, time to find a sun peanut butter fish. <laughs> Are you serious? Gulliver is a pirate. Really, I haven't seen I haven't seen Gulliver in so long. Ever since the beginning of my island, that's it. And now I don't know where he is. He's like a legendary Pokemon. Where could he have gone to? Alright Joshua, who, where else should I do next for the event? Is there anything else?
Okay, let's go find a uh, Gulliver and an Otter if he's on the island. Play Marco Polo. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Interesting suggestion. We could find this, but afterwards, I want to know what's up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? Is it a seashell, clamshell? Guys, I think I'm experiencing some Joy-Con drift. Are you serious? This this Nintendo Switch is pretty new. And the order will come. Alright, if I can find that, then the order will come. Then I must find it. Oh, oh, there he is! There he is! It's been so long, boy. Hey, wake up, boy. You're drunk. He's not waking up. Can I like get, get like a whole bucket of water and just splash him in the face with it? That is sailor, not a par not a pirate. <laughs> No, no, this guy. Come on, wake up, dude. What do I have to do to get him to wake up, honestly? Mm, he ain't waking up. Giant clam. Throw seawater on his face. If I am not here, he will wake up. Really? Uh, do you mind leaving? And then I'll go to the island later then? Is there like some type of storyline and all that? Because I, I wish, I hope there is. Oh, he woke up! He woke up! Do you have any pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Bro, you're on my island, man. <laughs> the, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. No, they abandoned you. No batteries, boy? Ah, sardines. You know what? When I swear now, I'm gonna say, ah, sardines. To, to my kids. Ah, sardines. Leave Ed. Welcome to the stream. Keep interacting with Gulliver. Are you a new player to the game? Mmm, I somewhat am. I mean, this is my first Animal Crossing game. So I just depend a lot on my viewers to help me out with anything. <laughs> Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts too. That means I have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Oh yeah, I'll help you find your parts. I mean, we'll help you. Want some seagull stew? Uh, are they healthy? Are, are they supposed to be in? The communicate parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. Alright, let's go find it for him. So he can go back home. Okay, let's do this guys. Finding five parts. Um, ooh. Okay, let's see, where could they be? Mmm, this should give you a big hint, right? 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Cool, well if you need help, I'm always there. Yeah, thank you. I mean like, I'm just kind of exploring it right now. Um, should be fairly easy, but at times I might have some questions. I'm like, I don't want to research it myself and that's why you guys are here to help me out. <gasps> There's a shark! There is a shark, and I'm not gonna let it run away. It's not gonna swim away this time. Guys, I will catch this. Hey, that's Persona 5 costume. I like that. Come on, shark. Um, why are you ignoring me? Please. Oh no, too. I actually thought it's gonna bite on, on the first time. And it out, it outfanked me. It outsmarted me. I can kill Gulliver with an axe. Are you serious? You know what? I'll find those five parts for him first, and then I'll kill him. Alright? Yeah, I love your shirt, actually, the design. It's slow bro. Slow bro shirt. Look at that. I always do. I failed two shark shadows today. Yep. I'm not good with catching. I really am not. Sometimes I try to outsmart it, but at times it outsmarts me. Now, how can I find the five communication parts? Um, hmm. Seems hard. Alright, I remember you gave me something. To complete the boxing gym. The boxing ring. There's a thing that squirts out of the ground. Dig them out when you see them. Oh, I mean, I thought they were just like clam, uh, clams, right? You know, to build um, the baits. Okay, but sure, I'll find them. I was just looking at them and I don't even see them anymore. Are they all on the right side? I can't see them clearly now. Oh my gosh. I think they're all back that side. Damn it. I see one. See, I'm even so bad at digging too. Manila clam. Hmm.
Oh, it's for the water. Oh, found it. There it is. Communicator part. What's next? What's next? Oh, I got no space. Really, I got no space. I need to drop off some stuff and come pick it up later or something. No space, really. Welcome board. What's a moss ball? I just wanna I'm just curious. What is a moss ball? Oh, damn it! Can't even see what's it like. Alright, I'll just drop this. Cause this is way too much. Here's money. Let's drop some money. Got this. Mom's plushy. Alright. Let's go dig up some more parts. So I got in the space. Oh. There's another part. Hmm, easier than I thought. Wow. What fish is that? <laughs> mm. I don't see it. Found two parts. Oh, you mean this is the third part? Nope, just a vanilla clam. Oh, what the horizontal stripe? Let's see. let's check it out. Oh, this looks better. Honestly, don't see it. What to do? What to do? I need to find all five parts. Oh. Anyways, um, how's summer going? on so far. Uh, anything you guys been up to recently? It's officially summer and what's it like in your area? What plans do you guys have? Let me know. Personally for me, um, as you may know, my dad hasn't been too healthy um, lately. Um, so I gotta take a better... I gotta take more of a role to... Uh, oh! Piplup! Piplup! Nice. I like the colors too. It's so exactly like Piplup, like an official Piplup shirt. But yeah, back to me. Um, we I'm so I gotta take more of an initiative in helping out with my family, like with household chores and all. And there's a lot to do, especially in the house. Um, I know my dad has a lot of businesses, so I gotta help take care of that as well because he is going to pass away. Um, that's what we have to accept. 
and when he passes away I have to take care of it and it's a lot to learn a lot to learn especially at my age so I do at times still want to do a lot of YouTube but I gotta I guess be more of a son now and just learning a lot more new things but yeah I expect still YouTube uploads and all but not as often that's because I still have to um, take care of my dad do my own things I'll still be doing some work. I want to find a full-time job at probably a library or something. So we'll see. Other than that, it's still going to be a really busy summer. And really taking advantage of the opportunity, opportunity that I have. Now let's look back at your comments. Um, Steven Universe. My summer is going fine. We had quite warm days, but now it's back to rain. All right, where do you live, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Well, we're all pretty comfortable sharing our places to live, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But yeah, I'd like to know where my viewers are from. Brandon, I've been hustling with work. Had the dust storm here from Africa last week. That was interesting. Mmm. I see. I remember you were doing um, an artist work, right, with a book writer? an offer so are you still working on that project or have you moved on to another project and what's it like you know having that dust storm it's uh does everyone wear a mask and all um how, how's everyone changing because of that dust storm or how have you adapted to it david to be honest summer could summer could be better it rains all year around in Ireland. Mmm. Is it called summer rain? That's what it's called. So is this still really humid there? And you know what? Even though it rains, there's still lots of things that you could do. I'm pretty sure if you just think about it and just talk about it, or just with your friends and all, you will have a, you will like spend it really memorably, right? Don't let the weather affect you, um, because you can't control that, right? You can only control what you can control. And that's how you live every day. So go for it. Find things to do. I'll leave that. It barely rains. It barely rains here. Okay. Um. Oh! Steven Universe, you're from UK. Well, we have another European viewer here. David, that's also from um, Europe. Uh, how far is the United Kingdom to Ireland? Isn't it, isn't it like really, really close to each other? Leave it. I live in the land of guns, aka the US. <laughs> the land of guns. Yeah, I mean, America has been very, very uh, hectic lately with the protests and all. And you know, the world economy, the world itself has been really. Um, chaos lately but you know what that's like I said you can't control it you can only control what's around you right that's the health of your so <gasps> no it's a ladybug and I missed it like I said you can only control the health of your family yourself um, the things that you do so focus on that instead I know it's a lot to get caught up on reading social media and all but you control your own destiny Brandon, I couldn't see the sun or the mountains. Everything was in yellow hue. Still working on a book and another project. Hmm. I think I find it good to keep myself busy. Before, when I was like, you know, probably like 18 or something, um, I, I just felt bored a lot of times. I didn't know what to work on. And then I found, uh, slowly over time, I found lots of things to work on, the things that I'm passionate about. And now, like every single day, I could say I'm living like the time of my life where I have lots of things to do uh, every moment it's worth living for and once you get that feeling um, you really really are going to appreciate life much more oh so you, you couldn't see the sun or the mountains 
Yeah, I mean, the dust. I think everyone has to wear a mask or something, right? You don't want to inhale that stuff. And good luck on your project. Let me know what's like, keep me updated on that. Because I'm always curious to see uh, how, you know, publishing works with uh, artists, with their books and, you know, pictures and all. Ireland and England is pretty close. It's about an hour apart on the airplane. Um... Okay, you know in Galar, right? In the Galar region Pokemon, we take trains a lot. Trains are really common in Europe, right? And is it like much more common to take trains than just taking airplane? And he, yes, right now we have Commonwealth. Now, what do you mean by Commonwealth? Steven Universe. 2020 has been bad. I'm wishing so much. I'm wishing so much 2021 will be much better. And yes, I agree, the world has been in chaos. Um, honestly, I know 2020 is, is really bad for a lot of people, uh, including me. But at the same time, it's been one of my most memorable years ever and probably one of my happiest years. I know it, it sounds contradictory. Like, it's the most difficult year of my life, but also the most happiest time of my life. Just because of the projects I'm working on, I found a direction. Um, I'm building up a reputation, my own brand. And I'm meeting a lot more social connections, which is why I feel this has been such a golden time of my life, despite even coronavirus situation. Yeah, and like... Coronavirus situation has given me an opportunity to stream more, um, to work on my YouTube more. Before that, I would work on it like more of a part time, but now it it's giving me the opportunity to continuously work on it and get it to the next level. And now I've built it up. I built up my YouTube, and it's it's going great. Um, I like the directions headed to, um, and it's I gotta say it's thanks to this virus period. Because if it wasn't for this virus period, I wouldn't have worked so hard on it and got my skills to the next level. So, as much, you know, as worse as the coronavirus is for a lot of people, it's helped me so tremendous. Right. Hmm. Can I find one more part? 2020 is so bad. December 31st, 2020 is probably going to turn into December 32, 32nd, 2020. <laughs> Alright. I feel bad for the kids in history class in like 100 years having to write and study about 2020. Yep. And who knows? Uh, maybe we'll still be alive. There's like better medicine and all that. That we can all appreciate the moment together. Oh my god, just thinking about like 50 years from now where, where we're all like grandpas and grandmas. <sighs> You're gonna like really think back to your 20s and go like, yeah, I really miss those times. And that's why like I feel like every day, if, especially in your youth, you need to take advantage of the things you do. Like go out, go out of your comfort circle, learn as much as you can, and just do things because this time you can't have it back. You're only gonna get older. So, really enjoy this golden time. It's your prime, like I said. And yeah, I mean, like 100 years, 200 years from now, people gotta study the coronavirus period. What is that about, huh? I honestly don't mind 2020. I've been doing a lot of productive things. Like this year, I started meditating and other stuff. Uh, yeah. A lot of things to, you can learn about. Right, that's good. That's a good habit for you, uh, David. Um, keeping up meditation and all. Oh my God! Stop with this. It's uh, it's a it's a way of living life, and that's um, it's it's a great way of living life. Calming yourself, giving that like calm mood to others as well. It's about controlling your emotions as well too. So I definitely agree. You should do that more. Even like 10 minutes a day, it's so effective. Okay, I gotta stop finding these clamps. I'm getting sick of these. Oh, 
Oh, I already found five. Oh my god, see? Like... <laughs> I gotta focus. <laughs> but it's great, like... I don't think the chat has ever been this lively before, but now like... I know all of you guys in the chat. And it's just like a natural conversation going on. It's so great to hear. Um, I remember like streaming like in March or April, in February. When it was only like one viewer or two viewers. And then I was like, it's tough, like, um, having, like, less views. But, like, over time, once you see more viewers joining in, and especially waiting for your content to appear, it's amazing feeling, like, now, like, now I'm quite busy just reading the chat itself. And just learning to manage that, it's a whole new thing for me to learn as well. Knowing how to manage the chat and talk, and making sure, like, I make sure every one of your comments are read and acknowledged. So I I, I really love what I'm doing. I hope I hope so. Grandkids are gonna look at TikTok and stuff and be like, what were they doing? I, I wonder what's it like. You know what? Give me your wildest prediction. A hundred years from now, what do you think the world will be like? Everyone write down something, please. Uh, I think personally for me, a hundred years from now, definitely self-driving cars. No one's gonna need to, need to drive anymore. It's just gonna be ro robotic taxis bringing you everywhere. I mean, like I think I think I will see that in the next twenty-five years already. Um, but hundred years, definitely that's going to happen. I wonder. I really wonder what the world's gonna be like a hundred years from now. Uh, too bad I won't live that long, right? Um, unless it's some magic medicine and all that, but you know, we're still living in really awesome times, so really cherish the moments. Joshua, I don't know if the Earth will. <laughs> will Earth will still be here? <laughs> you know what? Well, 100 years from now, will the Earth be greener or more environmentally friendly than today? Because a lot of countries, almost every country is taking steps to improve the environment. Will it be a greener world in 100 years from now? You're gonna send me something that's gonna knock my flippers off. Woo! Okay, I got high expectations, dude. Let's make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver. No replies yet. It says they read my message. I bet they're just busy planning my return celebration. Oh, you're so arrogant. You are so arrogant. Or you think you are. Let's read back the chat again. So, my question was, what will happen in 100 years, right? Brandon, your response? Racism will still exist. I think so, unfortunately. There will always be racism. Because people are born so differently, right? There's like 8 billion different people in this world, um, 8 different billion mindsets, like we all are so different from each other in some way. Yeah, it's still gonna be there, it's just a matter of fact of how much racism there still are. It's 
Some dudes will probably, the Fed says, some dudes will probably try to make the world look like the future we imagined, flying cars, technology, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Probably more gender equality too, right? Equal amount of girls and boys, you know. <sighs> Making this world even more futuristic. <laughs> Annie, I know next hundred years, we die. <laughs> Yeah, that's for certain, I think. Um, Steven Universe. I think meds, so medical and stuff will be super advanced. I really hope so. And cures for cancer will be found. Right. You know, and maybe there'll be another super virus out there. That's even stronger than all the technology we have. Because as our technology grows, you know, sicknesses will start to grow as well. Um, I think our, our earth will be environmentally, will be very environmentally friendly. Many places have realized this needs to happen. Yep. And it starts with the car industry too, right? A lot of car industries are like, by 2025, we're gonna only release, um, elect electric vehicles and that's it. Right? Um, in countries like, by 2040 or something, 2030, we're all gonna have electric vehicles. That's that's um that's the future, right? We're moving towards that life. The problem is a lot of people won't change won't change being racist. That's right, uh you can't force them to change. It's up to them to change and yeah. <laughs> In the next hundred years Canada will be two hundred fifty three years old, Malaysia will be hundred sixty three. So almost like a hundred year difference of age. Alright, back to the game. You guys can continue the discussion on. Alright Joshua, let's go to your island. I'm ready. Red's there. And let me see. Okay, I got enough money. I got enough money. I gotta make some manila clam toast first. Alright, let's read the chat again. Hmm. I think racist people will always exist. It's just the thing people believe is okay. Hmm. That's right. There are all types of people out there like they'll forever be like perverts. They're all forever be like hero, people that act like heroes, forever nice guys, bad girls, just that you can't change the fact that will happen. Um, that's because we're also different as humans. I can, I guess that's what makes us unique as well. Because we're, if we're, we all think the same way, life will get really boring. Imagine that, right? Top 10 reasons I should be a mod in this stream. I am biased. I ban people for offending me. 
I spent almost no time moderating. <laughs> I know, right? That's what people in Discord said. They are bringing up some really valid points. All right. <laughs> Levi, you would be the mo best mod ever. Interesting. All right. Yeah. If you guys vote for our Leaf, um, Leaf Ed to be a moderator, I will make a moderator. How many people do we have in the chat right here? I think it's show seven. So let's everyone vote. Majority wins. Although I don't think we've ever had someone that's really a really bad personality or like a terrible attitude come into my stream like that and say like terrible things. Not once yet, actually. Um, I would like for it to happen just so I know what to like. But uh, so far, everyone's been so appreciative, which I really admire. Thank you, guys. Oh, this is a new hashtag. Leave Ed for mod. Trending on Twitter. I want to visit my good friend Josh. The capital of Canada is Ottawa and capital of Malaysia is Kuala, Kuala Lumpur. Lumpur. I want to say it right. Kuala, Kuala Lumpur? Steven Universe, you want to be a you want to be a, a mod too? I'm super cool and I want to be as cool as Lee Fed. I can be mean if you like. Oh, Brandon! Oh yeah, let's go. Bring the heat. Bring the heat. Oh, Brandon, Leaf needs to earn his place. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh my God. Oh, Brandon, you ate some spicy peppers right now. Because <sighs> what you're spitting out is on fire, dude. Oh, Joshua, I think two is enough for now. <laughs> Steven Universe, I was so cool. It would be cool to be a mod, though. Um, honestly, my, if I were to say, I think having two right now is t more than enough. My audience is like, it's it's still like, it's okay amount, right? It's not too low, it's it's just okay. Having two people moderate, like with Brandon, that's why I chose Brandon and Joshua right here. I think that's enough responsibilities. And also I'm one as well, right? So um, it's just like at times, like if I want to focus on other things, they can help me out with a lot. So, and I, I trust both of them very much. So those two are good for now. If my audience builds to another like five, 10 people, like, 10 plus people each stream then yeah sure having three moderators adding another one is good some real tea going on in chat is that like a slang like what's real tea <laughs> in uh in north america we say beef is going on i don't know why we use beef though but some real tea's real tea going on Is this like an Engl um, Europe saying? Real tea? People fight with tea? And I wish, you know, when you go diving, there's like lights. Because like, I can't see anything, dude. I really can't see anything. Well, anyways, we're here at Slow Isle. It's so dark, Josh. It's so dark. I can't see anything. <laughs> I like your sidewalks. You've completely revamped your island. Ah, that's the meme cat right there.
Oh, T means drama. Really? Okay. I didn't know T means drama. Cool. That's some tea talk. Alright, I learned something new too. You see like, I hope this stream always teaches people about different values. So like, everyone can learn something from coming into my stream. Not just playing the game, but also like life lessons and all that and just talking like that. Um, T equals truth talk. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you guys continue the discussion yourself. We'll go in and talk with Red, but let's go check out your island. Ooh. Hey, you got all these house? It's so dark. And it's raining pretty hard. Mmm, here it is. We're gonna go talk to the scam artist, everyone. Ew, sneeze on me. Oh my god. Red! Don't do that! Wear a mask! What? Who is coming? Okay. It's like an internet meme. People have drama channels and they say stuff like, Spill the tea! Like, ooh, this tea is hot! To mean like, spicy drama. Ooh! I see. I don't watch a lot of dramas. Spill the tea, sis. Oh, I got it. Spill the tea. Spill the tea, sis. Alright everyone, watch me get scammed by this freaking tricky fox, okay? Let me take a look at this painting. Oh! Oh yeah, I would like to take a look at what Joshua bought. Hmm. Alright, for those of you studying art history, or art, what you think about this? Does Joshua have good taste in art? Judging by this picture? I have no idea. The thing is, I have no idea what this is. I just see like um, a, a, a woman, probably like in her 40s or something, like pouring water into like a basket, and that's like it's very Europe style too. Um, let me let me let me go into my artistic mind of view right now. The milk is thin, not wide. Oh, that's milk. All right, so we got some. Delicious bread on the side right here with milk. I guess that's kind of, you know, is that peasant food? <laughs> I don't know. Is that fancy food? Um, I guess that's more of like what peasants eat because it's pretty common, right? Um, I don't know. Background looks pretty cool. Um, I don't even know. What's the name of this painting called? Somebody teach me. Art history lessons for everyone right here. 
let's discuss these paintings. Man, I'm talking a lot today. This is like the most I've ever talked on a stream in such a short amount of time. And it feels like it's a lot. I get tired. Yes, realism painting. Um, she's probably the maid. Minor details can show you if the painting is fake or not. Like the Mona Lisa's eyebrows. If they're fake, they're extremely high up. But the thing is, I don't even know what's this painting called. Like, I call it like European maid pouring milk into a jug. <laughs> the Mona Lisa's eyebrows? <laughs> they even, I don't even know. Alright, I'm gonna say Joshua bought the real one. Alright, here's the Mona Lisa, everyone. Four thousand nine hundred eighty bells. I want a closer look, boy. Let's see. Oh, look at that! Look at those eyebrows. I see it. Oh, I see that eyebrows. No, you can't fool me. Wow. I mean, her expression looks even like. I mean, with eyebrows, this feels like even more serious. What? Is this real? I don't even know. You know, I'm just gonna. I don't. I don't think it's real. Um, I'm not gonna even research it because I feel like you don't. It's not like that. The eyebrows. Yeah. Um. Now we know the painting of Mona Lisa, right? But do you guys know who the artist is who painted the Mo Mona Lisa? I don't know. So that's why I'm here to ask you guys. Oh hell no, I'm not buying that. You have to pay me to buy that, dude. Oh, it's your friend here. Hello, Razmedi. Nick from Terminal bought that Moody painting. I'm gonna have to box it up pretty soon. You wanna get a close look? Let's take a look. Ooh, okay, what is this painting called? Guys, it just feels like a guy a guy that's leaving in the sandstorm and all that. What's going on? Art critique right here. Mona Lisa looking angry these days. I have to go now. Might come back depending on the stream still going on. But see ya. Thank you, Leafette, for staying in. And I hope to see you soon in my other videos as well. Alright, it's Leonardo da Vinci that painted the uh, Mona Lisa. Okay. So that's what even makes the Mona Lisa even that famous. Alright. If it wasn't painted by Leonardo da Vinci, probably not. The Mona Lisa was originally was originally paid a paid drawing. Wait, the Mona Lisa was originally a paid portrait for a wealthy woman. The painting was never sent back though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and now look at this today. Now like I don't know when is that painted, but like five hundred years. Now we're looking at it and appreciating it. Now someone talk, talk to me and explain this painting. What's this? I just see like a guy in this really interesting pose. Just walking through like the desert or like... Because it feels like there's a sandstorm happening, right? It's like really terrible weather and stuff and he's just going from country to country. What do you guys think? What's... Give me a caption for this art. <laughs> Josh, you think he's throwing seeds? He's like a farmer? Wait, what? I want to check out this painting. Is this not a painting? What the hell? No? 
Dude, I want to talk with you. Um, why can't I talk with them? What's going on? Rosetti from Rosetti bought that informative statue. Let me get a close look before I do. Yes, I do. All right, so for that painting, I've I have that painting. I forgot the name. There is no fake version of it. <laughs> Randy, you just think he's doing catwalk? <laughs> you see, catwalk existed a long time ago, huh? Oh shoot. Yeah, I'm not an artist. I mean, you could say I am, like, not. I'm a YouTube artist. Like, I make videos, so I make creative content, but not for sense of drawing and all that. Alright, I see just a statue. I see nothing important about it. Is this the original Rosetta Stone? If you don't know what I'm talking about, Rosetta Stone is this, like, language learning app. It's fake because it's blue, not black. What the hell is this? Somebody tell me. Informative statue. No, I don't need that. You got to buy Evil Mona. You know what? I'm gonna make the fake Mona Lisa painting famous. Because I bought it. Hell yeah! I'm buying it then. Ha! I'm not gonna regret this. Of course. True Patreons of the Art <sighs> Hand it to Blaffers Alright, I gotta hand it to Blaffers And he'll give me some good rewards, right? I wish I could take a look at more other paintings, but I think that's about it today. No other paintings left. Alright, that's it. That's it. Hopefully Red can come to my island and I get to meet him as well. I just walked out and I saw four alligator turtles. Oh, it's 8.30. Right, what time is it now? 5.40 right here? Yeah. It's about 5 o'clock, almost 6 o'clock for me. Something happened. Hello. What happened? Whew. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna fall in there. 
<laughs> nice try. You wish that would have happened. If that happened, your island's gonna break apart in half, and then you'll probably be forced to move all your furniture to my island. Mona Lisa is a popular painting made in France during the 16th century. Alright, another question for you guys all, okay? If you guys were to live in an era, or a time period, or a time period, uh, which time period, period would you want to live in? My answer is, it's not like interesting or anything, but I would choose this time period. Everything's so advanced. Um, do I wish I would be born in 2020? I, I mean... Now that I'm older, I think like, I wish I could be much younger and still have the knowledge that I have today. But I feel like everyone thinks like that, so... Uh, I, I, I'm just happy with the era I'm born in. Um, I want to be young, like I want to be like 10 years old again. But still have like the knowledge that I have today. But that's not gonna happen, right? It's either you choose one or the other, right? So, I would still say living in this era is my choice. If I were to pick a time. Brandon's got 3,000 years in the future. Oh. 3,000. Can you... Im I don't even... You know, imagining things that is kind of scary. Like, the future. You'll be talking about 3,000 years from now. Um... I don't know, what, what, what do you expect? 3,000 years, like... I don't even know, like, robotic people... What's it like 3,000 years from now? Really, like... I, I can't imagine what's it like 3,000 years from now. I really can't. Steven Universe, I would like to live in a Victorian era. It's very interesting. You know, I've studied a bit of Victorian era through like... You know, novel books and all. There's a lot of books done on it. It seems very strict in the Victorian era. Um, like I said, it's very deadly. Not even the bathroom was safe. Mm hmm. Oh, crafting a peach hat. Oh yeah, of course I would. Thank you. David, I wouldn't change what era I will live in. So, kind of same answer as me then? Yeah, just sticking to this era. I think we're very fortunate, honestly, um, to be living in this era. Yeah, it's just, it's just so many things that um, we should be grateful for, like technology, right? If you think about it, our parents didn't have these like technologies like social media, Facebook and all that. Now everything we could do on our phone and all. And it's just... It just makes life so much more interesting, I gotta say. Now how can I make the peach craft hat? Create peach hat. Five peaches? Okay. Five peaches. Brandon, I'll probably die from the shock of it. I know. 3,000 years from now. I have no idea what it's like. Alright, and in Victorian era, the bath was very... It's very polluted, right? Yeah, everyone like... I don't think rarely people ever take baths, right? It was a very deadly era to live in and sanitation, right? Like right now we're pretty clean in our world. But can you imagine like a thousand years back then when there wasn't like toilet paper and all that? There wasn't any t washroom and stuff. Like where do you poo and all that, right? Like you gotta wipe your butt and... Ugh, okay. That's enough talk, but like you know what I'm saying, guys. 
You know what I'm saying. Like, the things we have now... I can you imagine living like cavemans? Cavewoman? Joshua, you are still, um... You are still living the era we are in now. Mm-hmm. Great choice. Actually, all of them are great choice. It's no right or wrong answer. Really, like... Hey, you changed your uh, banner to a cat. News. Yes, Isabel, I hope, hopefully, sadly you couldn't be here today, but I wish you could be, man. Really miss you, Isabel. Alright Joshua, what's next? What would you like to show us? By the way, if you have not liked this video, hope you guys do. Helps out with the channel performance. I wouldn't tell you guys to like it if uh, you guys truly don't like it. But hopefully you guys do. Um, it helps out with the channel promotion. It's weird. I don't know why, it, but it somehow helps out. So please like the video if you do like it. Um, thank you. Now let's go check out Joshua's museum. Or actually, let's look at the painting. All the paintings that you've bought. I still have lots of work to do on my island. You've done a lot of work already. And I think you're just trying to find motivation to continuously work on your island and improve. But wait until the next update. See what kind of new designs they have and all. Um, where is the painting? up here oh hey 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 mystic statue what September 22nd 2021 Joshua did you travel to the future Explain yourself. Because <laughs> this, this statue is from 13, 1345 BCE, whatever time era that is. Explain yourself, dude. A bust of Nefertiti, whose name means the beautiful one has come. Nefertiti. Guys, repeat after me. Nefertiti. Alright? The beautiful one has come. A royal wife. She was known as one of the three most beautiful women in ancient Egypt. 
it is not known whether the left eye is missing because it fell out or it was never completed. What the hell? <laughs> you lost your five star island because of time travel? That's the price to pay. Now what is this one? Familiar statue. May 17th. So that was last month. Okay, that makes more sense. The Finker. August Augustine Rodin in 1902. This bronze sculpture was crafted by the French sculptor Rodin, known as the father of modern sculpture. The incredibly famous original is located in France. The sculpture was casted over 20 times. As such, authentic pieces can be found all around the world. Mm. Oh, yeah, completed everything, right? I got my five star island and started. Sorry, okay. I thought you said you lost your five star island. Right, okay, that's yeah, that makes more sense, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit sleepy just probably because I did Uber driving. And then later on, I still gotta upload uh, my reaction to uh, Twilight Wings. Newest episode. Oh, by the way, what do you guys think of the newest episode of Twilight Wings, uh, featuring Alistair? Did you like it? Um, love it. What was the best part of it? What did you not like? As you guys know already, I love the series. One of the best anime series I've seen out there, just because of this character development growth. The animation is so well done. The only thing I have to com complain about is just how short it is. Really wish it was longer. Um, the way that the story connects with all that. Fantastic show. That's all I gotta say. If if this series would continue for another 20 episodes, I think Pokemon fans would even love it even more. Perfect painting. January 29th. 2022 <laughs> Wow, we're going two years, huh? Apples and oranges Twinkling painting Vincent Van Gogh Hmm What's the Van, wasn't, wasn't Vincent Van Gogh the guy who ripped off his own ear because he had some um what what was his problem or wild left painting wild painting left half hey 2029 that's when I'm like 30 years old. Folding screen of Fujin and Lijin. Shows the dynamic brushwork of Fujin and Lijin on the gold leaf background. It's thought to be a masterpiece of Sotetsu and early Edo period artists. Oh! Someone's rang my doorbell. I need to check who it is. If I don't come back, that means I died.
Oh well, guys, it was actually an Amazon delivery. Uh, not sure what it is. It could be one of the things I ordered yesterday. Uh, probably just the massage roller stick. But okay. I think that was nice. Nice delivery. Now let me look back into the chat. David, you haven't seen it yet? David, you have to see Twilight Wings. No, you just haven't seen the episode, right? But you should definitely see it. Um, if you haven't watched the series, then I'm disappointed in you. But uh, you definitely do need to see it. It's one of the, you could say one of the best anime series I've seen. One of the best Pokemon animes. It was pretty cool. Is it the last episode? I get the impression it's finished. Um, yes, it's approaching its finish, uh, its fin finale. Uh, wrapping it off with um, Leon and John. So you're gonna see that. Hmm. The Victorian era was so horrific, but yet very interesting. Sorry for rambling on it, I just like spreading my knowledge. No problem, I think we're all here to learn and have fun, right? Just learn every day, get smarter every day. Um, it, it, we all find it interesting, like whatever it is. We all have something that we're good at, and don't be afraid to share it, alright? Don't be afraid. Because when you share things with others, and you basically learn things twice. I'm not sure who, but... Whoever it was. Wait, let's see. Annie, I know in the episode 26, it's a voice actor of Kasking is Japanese comedian television. Oh, Japanese comedian. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. He's like a bald guy, right? Um, Steven Universe, I'm not sure who, but whoever it was, they got into an argument with somebody and then cut their ear off. What the hell? Brandon, he had mental health problems. Yep, David, you gotta watch Twilight Wings. I'm serious. It's one of the best Pokemon animes out there. No jokes. I think a lot of people undoubtedly say it is one of the best animes. In terms of production and everything. Please, so please, go for it. It's really short too, because there's only 7 episodes, and each episode is like 5 minutes long. Oh, this is the one you bought. It's called Moody Painting. The Sower. Oh, so this guy's called a Sower. I don't even know what the Sower. I need to search that up. What does that word mean? Someone who sows. Like a farmer. A person who operates a farm. Okay, so it's a farmer. Millet painted this piece of a farmer sowing wheat seeds in a field after moving to the countryside from Paris. From... I mean, I remember... Paris, the correct pronunciation is Paris, that's in France. If the piece reminds you of Van Gogh, that's likely because Van Gogh himself was inspired by it. Okay. Whoa, look at this. What is this? What the hell? What is this painting? Worthy painting. Liberty leading the people. This is drawn by Eugene Delacruz, 1830s. It's the same year as the French Revolution. Hmm. The woman in her center is often mistaken for the Joan of Arc, but she's actually the fictional Marianne. I don't know who's Marianne. But let's admire it since it looks that good. Whoa, what is this other big painting right here? <sighs> Amazing painting. 
<laughs> I like the names of these. The Night Watch. This masterpiece shows a military gathering. At the time, portraits usually showed their subjects standing still, so this was a leap forward in technique. <laughs> so everyone there was just trying to stand still for this portrait? For many years, art scholars thought the painting was set at night, but a restoration revealed a dark varnish. We can now see the dynamic poses and lighting as they were meant to be seen in the daytime. Holy, this is deep. Now let's just sit here and just admire some painting. Ooh. People put oil lights under a hatch under the bath making it extremely hot and then it would burn their skin and most times they ended up dead so they fried themselves in the victorian era what i don't understand humanity and that's you know that's part of life No, the bald but the bald but the men are in com are comedy in television Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, like there's not, I know there's a lot of uh television comedians in uh Tokyo. It's it's pretty big. It's like the daily show that uh Japanese people watch as a family. And it is the French Revolution revolution. I have to go soon, uh, but it was super fun sharing my knowledge about the Victorian era and having a blast. Thank you, Steven Universe. Um, if you want to, um, you can join in the Discord. It's in the description below. Um, or if not, then um, you can just check it out on my other videos. But I'd love to have you join in Discord and see you in my other future videos if you do come back. Yeah, there's a Mona Lisa. Okay, I think we've seen every paint. Oh, yeah, we we ha we have seen every painting before. I think that's about it. Um, goodbye, Anik. You go relax and go to sleep. Now with that. We've got about five minutes left before I end the stream. Um, it's been a pretty productive one. I felt like this one, this has been the stream where I talk the most and have the most engagement with you guys, just interactions and all. So thank you all for that, actually. Um, truly appreciate it. Uh, I hope I can stream a little bit more in the future as well. But like I said, uh, it's, I've been going through some family situation. I gotta take care of my dad's business as well. Uh, so there's a lot to learn, so hope you guys understand. Anka, you're the Egyptian cat. Alright, let's go to Joshua's house to end it off. I wish I could sleep over there, that way I don't have to fly back to my own island. Let's go in. <laughs> you go in and just hear that music.
Wow. First off, let's appreciate the, uh, the amount of art that you have. And uh, look at the fish's wall. Look, the fishes can move. That's a nice design on the wall. Oh, we got some switch lights here too, huh? Let's turn off lights. This is your art room. Hey, it didn't, not much change. I still recognize this. Your big tunas. Your swordfish. Mr. Mr. Tuna, right here. Hello, Mr. Tuna. Entertainment room? Are you watching a grandma right now? What show is this? She's just like... Okay, I see some wind. Wind turbine. And then I see like a grandma. <laughs> oh, it's not grandma, sorry. Is this a grandma? Or oh, is this an old guy? Wow, what kind of show is this? Wow, so much content. Oh boy, look at that rating. I give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, now we're watching cats. That's even better. Ah, it's very peaceful. Rosetti. Oh, look, you got a picture of uh, Cyrus and uh, forgot the girl's name. Being married doubles joy, halves happiness, and quadruples living expenses. Holy shoot! This is so good. This is so real, everyone. I'm not sure if it actually doubles joy. Sometimes it half joy, so like you don't have as much joy. It probably doubles the amount of sadness. But definitely, what's always true is quadruple the amount of living expenses. Yup. That's the true fact of marriage, all right? So that's why it's important you find you find a beautiful partner, okay? Your partner, your other half is so important to your life. I can't say that enough. Like please don't find a terrible partner because the truth is you're going to be staying with them for a long time. Or even if it's a short time, you're going to go remarry again and that Going over that, this is just a lot of work. So please, I hope you all find a good partner. And that's what I'm trying to do right now too. <laughs> um, I've been using this app, dating app called Co Coffee Meets Bagel. It's basically what it says. Uh, basically, every day you get 10 new girls. And you get like a profile, and their profile are the ones that should be, you know, like right type for you from like what the statistics show. So, yeah, I've just been trying to find the right type of girl, and I don't want to really waste time dating someone that I don't like. 
obviously every relationship is like a science experiment, right? Um, you learn a lot of things from it, but in your youth, you should try to date as much as you could, or if not, focus on other things. This is my advice. And other than that, I think I'm done. Um, oh wow, we're watching a marriage show. Now let's take a picture of this. Yes, I'm gonna send it to my friends. Okay, that's it. It's about time to go. And I feel really sleepy. <sighs> I feel really, really sleepy. I need to go sleep. I do want to upload my video later. <sighs> what else? Probably, I'll, I'll probably take like 30 minute nap and upload it soon enough. Um, but thank you all for joining me from the bottom of my heart. Like every time you guys come in and just talk, it just really helps. It just helps my channel and it helps. It helps me like grow as a person. Just like I have these viewers now here, and I have a lot of I have a lot of support from them. And yeah, so like everything that I do now is just for you guys as well. Um, before I didn't have much of an audience. Now I start to see how much hard work pays off. And this is just the beginning. A year from now, it's gonna get even bigger, and I wait can't I can't wait to see that result. Uh, you guys are gonna be here from the start, and hopefully, you guys will stay till the end. And yeah, have a great weekend. I know it's uh, America's birthday this weekend, huh? Uh, I'm not American, but I wish all my American people happy birthday to your country. Hope everything gets better. Um, I'll be streaming again sometime, probably next week, and all. Until then, uh, you can join my Discord, you can always contact me on Instagram or whatever. I'll see y'all later. Yep. Enjoy your day, everyone. Good night.